What's up, young men, young women, lions and lioness? I just feel like running my mouth for a minute, man. I don't want, you know, it's a lot of y'all, man, getting knocked off for no reason or another, man. And uh, maybe I can share some experiences with y'all. And uh, like it is right now, I'm 71 years old, man, and I made it through them trenches. But I had to go through a lot. And I wish that I could wake up just one of y'all. I'm cool with that. You know, I ain't looking for no subscribers, no views, none of that, man. But I just uh, want to holler at y'all and a couple of people, you know, that uh, I feel like uh, I give them they card, you know, they youngsters. My cousin in Los Angeles, I got to holler at him tonight because... He might get in some real crazy stuff. And I got to holler at him. I ain't hollered at him since the last time he was at my own. My mama funeral in 2010. Because we don't be, you know, this telephone thing is real messed up, man. But I'm going to share a few things with y'all, man. And maybe y'all can see where I'm coming from and straighten up, man. Go make y'all some babies, man. You know, just... Little the square life, man. It's good. You know, you ain't gonna get as much paper. But, you see, take it like me. Man, I had Rolex watches, blue arch to face crown, you understand? Um, white gold. I done had Three quarter length black bass coats. My mama gave her the goodwill. She said, Ain't gonna never get that cold. I had it at her house. I done lived in some of the finest places in this city from hustling. You know. Um, and I had game. You know. And now, on the back end, I drive a hoopty. I be working with this boy on, you know, real estate thing. And he, he, you know, I find a house and we sell it. He got all the paper. But what we sell it for on the, on the, um, on the, on the ass end, I get, like if we make 10000 I get five for finding it, you know. Which is good. I'm just sitting back and I'm looking at all of these YouTube videos and I'm saying, man, these youngsters done flipped the script, man. I seen a video Well, one of these youngsters, he done rolled up in a place with like 25 deep. I'm saying to myself, man, ain't no way I'd walk into a situation like like that by myself with the people I came up with. Give you an example. In my neighborhood, well, it kind of like, it was the borderline of two hoods. So, we 17, 18 years old, so our little pack would go to the carnival and the other side, they bring their people from, to the carnival. But unlike these youngsters today, we'd be together, then we wouldn't be together. What I mean by that is like, if we're in the carnival, I'm strolling through there, man, you know, and uh, I'm trying to, you know, kick it with a gal or whatever. You know, and everybody else doing the same thing. Let me tell y'all what happened one night. We all together. I mean, we went there together, you know, hypothetically speaking. But it had some pecs pull up there called Society Dropouts Motorcycle Gang Pecs. All right. Ain't no problem. We ain't bother nobody. They ain't bother nobody. All of us, we strapped. 
And just so happened, the biggest one of that group, he jammed one of the boys from my side. And like old Dan say, oh my Lord. Not that one. Don't jam that one, man. Call him out for a fair fight. So, people get to moving. You know, hey, man. This boy done called Crow out to a fair fight. I say, oh, Lord. All us strapped. I don't know if they strapped or not. They, uh, whatever little play they were trying to make, it wasn't going to have to come out the way they thought it would. And in my neighborhood, if we circle somebody, it was like a semi-circle. So, you know, all that friend of fire stuff and all of that, that was dead, man. So anyway, big old parking lot across the street. So the crowd started building up. Crow, he's strapped. And the reason why I can call all these people name, man, these people dead, all that allegedly, well, I'm going to just say it for the record, but it. Allegedly, man, all these people names I'm calling eight, most of them is dead. Them got killed or whatever. That's what I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to bring to y'all. But I'm just showing y'all the situation. Everybody just slipping around and, hey, man, what I'm called, grow out. I'm saying, man, he done, crawled, he done called out a really a athletic, Negro can slam dunk, run football hard. This is who we this is who this pet called out, man. He could have called out me or anybody. No, he called out Crow. He could have called out Buck. All these people they ain't gonna call them they dead, so whatever, whatever. You know. So we go across the street and we do our little sim semi circle around them. Like we spectators. Every last one of us strap, man. So when they meet in the square, you ain't gonna believe what happened, man. The pick come out of his boot with a chain and rub it across his neck. Lord have mercy. Here it go. Here it go. Man. Crow jump, jump back. Went to bus. All of us come up with the straps, with the bus. Man, I think that night they had every ambulance from the fire department to the hospitals on this scene, man. You know, it's just, you know, what I'm trying to say is, um, man, Y'all don't need to be, I can't tell y'all what to do because y'all, y'all don't flip the script. Y'all got them guns that she gone them 50 times and all that, man. And when I was coming up, we, we just, you know, y'all got them bulletproof vests and all that, man. We used to just wear three quarter length levels and gangster rims, you know? But we didn't be together all the time. And I just want y'all to recognize, man, you know, make some, make some babies, you know, uh, try to preserve our, you know, black people, generation. I don't have no children, I don't think. Well, I don't have one possible claim, but if, if you're hanging with people all day long, man, you ain't, you ain't. Hang with your women, man. And if you if you got game, man, game is I know with some of them old players, if they, you know, peep this video, they gonna kinda get a, a attitude because a lot of them gave me the game and you know, I kinda stepped back from the crowd a lot and my homie they respected that. You know, and, and they'd sit me down and give me the game, give me the script, you know, and I'd play it. Well, uh, just like Lips, Blind Sonny. Man, these kind of folks, they were recognized all in New York everywhere for the gift of gab. 
you know, I wanted to be like my hustle, you know, shoot craps, not doing them crap hours as well, you know, nigga shoot a thousand, bet a thousand, you know, and I, I tried to, you know, stay away from that other activity, man, and I just wanted to be a player, and then, you know, like, in my, in, in my time, dope game, you know, anybody could get in a dope game, man, all you had to do was have to connect. So, I didn't, I didn't want that because some of the people that I messed with, man, they was, they'd get sick, man, and all of that kind of stuff, man, and then I'd have to go make a hustle, man, um, get them some paper just for them, you know, to get them to fix, just to be they self, man, they'd be so sick. And so, the, these, these older guys that, they give me the pimp game, they give me the corn game, you know, and I, and I come up, I don't bought cars off the showroom floor and, and, and all of that kind of stuff, man, and, and had a bunch of paper, man, and I'd like for y'all, you know, just do your thing, man, you know, play. Play. Be a player. Get that kind of mindset. Be a player. You know, and I don't care if you break an old joker like me, I ain't gonna sweat it. You know why I ain't gonna sweat it? Because the only way that you can drop some game on the phone, man, it got to be greedy. That's that's the first that's the first aspect of it all. You got to be greedy. Okay, you got some people on your team. You got a script. Everybody play their role. When it end up, what we used to call a mark, they go to a place after they done went to the bank and withdraw this money, they get called a send off. They go to a place expecting to get four or five times their money. And like if we're in the gallery or somewhere and, um, they go knock on this lawyer office and they say, hey, uh, I just come to get my 33000 or that 100000 that that uh, the other man, I'm with him. That lawyer going to say, what? By that time, we gone and laughing, man. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. And sometimes in game, if you got too much game, I done had, man. Let me tell you something, man. Now, it's hoes. And it's ladies. Okay. And I had a bunch of hoes in life. I had a couple of hoes that, man, I was scared of. Because after I give them the game, man, let me tell you something. I'd be driving this girl, and when she'd make her play, she'd look up. This is one play and I know you can't do none of this stuff now but I'm talking about the time when I come up she go in a place say like J.C. Pence okay she pick out a dress pay the little $15 or whatever it is for it she go and fold this and she get a dress look like this dress with receipts okay i'm making this video work for my boy i guess they done switched over to put it in Alabama. what no they okay yeah that house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they better do something. No, Alan and Dad, they shouldn't be like that. Well, it, 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 as long as they, uh, because I don't got the money. They still riding free, though. Yeah, I know. I, I'll get it straight because I don't got the money off of that house. Okay. And they still riding free off of paying no taxes? Well, I get it. I'll get it straight. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's not right, but I'll get it straight. I'll get it straight. I know it. 
Okay, I'll get it straight. But anyway, but anyway, then she go to Foley's, and when she go to Foley's, she, uh, the same dress, it looked like the same dress, and she show receipts and all, I don't know how to, uh, uh, uh she, she, first she would buy the dress out of folders that look exactly like this dress for like $70, $75 or whatever. And then she'd take the JCPenney $15 dress. She got the receipt on the $75 dress. Get that $75. Then go back and, and, and get $75 for the dress that she originally bought with the receipts. Okay. Man, let's go do this. I'll be riding. She be doing this stuff all day, all day long. So I'm getting scared. I'll be sitting in that car. He said, golly, man, I don't know what I done created him. You know? And she do that all day long, even on the weekend, man. I give her a game like it was given to me. And on the weekend, you know, like, at that time, if you get anything over twenty five dollars, you had to wait on. Um, you'd have to have a receipt for a refund on the weekend. So she go on the weekend. She wouldn't even stop. She go to all of these stores around here. She get them bras and panties, and she be them already calculated how much this is. Like it come out to twenty two dollars and. $21 or whatever and she be steady because you didn't need a receipt at that time when I was coming up and she do that all day long because I was gambling and I played poker okay well I said damn I was like, man I said shit I don't I don't like riding with you but at the end of the day she'll say come on let's go to the tray and uh, go to the uh, tailor shop. I'm going to get you a customized three-piece suit made. I had so many of them things. It's good. But anyway, and she do this all day long. I'd be trying to find me a way to get away from it. I said, man, what? I done created here. But keep in mind, I fooled with the fellas. They respected me for separating because my the old, the old, the old hustler. They liked it the way I carried myself, and they'd give me game. So, you know, I didn't like just squabbling with other fellows and Jack and blacks and dope, dope houses and all of that. So I kind of would like, you know, I kind of be on my own most of the time. Well, all of us, we didn't run in no group, but we'd be at the same place, and then when we come together, it'd be a mess if it's if it's a problem. It's going to be, it's going to get real, real ugly. What I'm trying to say, and I know y'all do the same these days with them things that shoot a hundred times and all of that, it gets real, I know it gets real difficult. But man, let me tell y'all something. If you concentrated on being a player, getting your family, tightening up your game, especially with all that paper. You know, just like them rappers that be on TV and they be flashing them big stacks of money. You know, that's the way we used to do to catch tricks. We call it a miss. Be a hundred on the top, hundred on the bottom, ain't nothing but ones. That's the way we would flash. So, I be thinking like, I wonder if that boy, I know they ain't got no miss. Them boys be making that paper, man. You know, but some of them, you come to find out they be broke. You know, either they done got tricked out their money or whatever, man. So, and during them days, man, when we go at them thousands, we call it a, we call it, um, playing long con because you could play short con, you could play long con, and uh, if we play long con, it'd be just like a script. 
I, I really can't just explain, but I, I can't go into detail because, you know, even though I'm old and washed up right now, you know, somebody that I know might be looking at this and they always say that the game is to be sold and not told. You know, so I can go into some kind of aspects to let y'all know that I'm somewhere around it. Uh, know what I'm talking about. And I like to see them kind of uh, young players because uh, y'all got y'all can think real good, man. I don't know how long my brain going to last, man. <clears throat> and I want to see all of y'all do good, man. I'm telling you, I got a young cousin in Los Angeles. Well, I got a bunch of them in Los Angeles. I really got to call him tonight because I don't want him to get in no mess. I want to shout out to old man, TV old man. I, 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 I kind of, if young boys, I give them their card. Please, if you're hearing this, don't mess with these kind of people and bring them out. You don't want to meet the bad side of them. And I could tell. And I kick it with him all the time. I kick it with him all the time, inside and out. So, this YouTube mess, it done got ugly. Uh, I really, um, I don't, you know, I'm such a, a D-U-M-M-A that I got in clubhouse one time, it was so easy, then the next time I can't get in no more, and so, you know, I'd be tripping, I don't know what, this man, man, what's going on with him, man? You know, uh, I don't know. I, I I really don't know. I'd be glad when they say they're going to have Twitter free, switch, free speech. Then I'm really going to get wide open talking to these youth because I want them to make babies. I really see them go make a baby and say, hey, man, I done made me two or three babies, man, because uh, rather than out there in the street shooting it up. You don't stand standing in the front of a, 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 a nigga to take a bullet. Man, I, I, that's the stupidest shit I ever seen. Them niggas I come up with, man. We go to a party. They got some people from one set uh, part of the uh, another neighborhood. And if it's a bad gal that's throwing this party, man, let me tell you something. Even though all of us that we ain't sitting up, hugged up, all up under each other, man. Man, they had that real good road tussle, man. I'd be sitting back, because I couldn't dance. But boy, we had some people that were around us. And they get up there, man, they could do that two-stepping, man. I'm talking about floating all around, the head and going all around. You know what I be doing? Sitting in the chair back with my back against the wall like now. Um, full of that road tussle AC. Maybe sometime two bottles. Just went to the chicken house, got me a couple of bottles. Not in that three quarter length level like this. With my hand on my grip. You know, anybody get into something they know how they handle themselves. But these days. I ain't never seen these young niggas. They be glowering uh, other niggas to speak for them. Um, jumping in front of bullets from the Cosmikaze shit, man. Man, y'all got family, man. Man, try to pick your... Get your player card, man. Get your player card. Get you some game. I know everything is computerized. It's all about the internet, man, right now. I told y'all I live on host, bro. You know how I test game? I play a okay. Man, just to see that I still have my lip. Not to, not to do no pimping, not to do no pimping, man. But just to see that I have my game called up. Call it. My girl know when I catch one. Is this? If I want to do, it's 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 done because I got that game. You know what she doing now? Huh? 
first I made it go to um, the uh, the couple of stuff work source. Made her get some food stamps. Um, I made her get up on housing. Well, this is the way I'm gonna get paid. I'm gonna come back and call my boy, and we're gonna try to get a house, get a skipped in front of the line, and all of that. I can, I think I can work that and uh, get paid like that. That's why I always say the square life is the good life. But. Um, I got receipts, messages, and all of that. You know, some of my boys I kick it with. I just did it to see that I still have it in me, still in me, man. But I done been in a situation. That don't necessarily mean because you got game, you got to have finesse. Okay, I'm telling y'all some good stuff, man, instead of a gun. Okay. I done been in a situation where, man, with game that it could have got ugly real bad, man. Um, I play poker real good, holding poker. That's what my daddy used to do, and he had a hole in my house, and I'd be there playing, and everybody know me. As a little buddy. Okay. And I'd go to whole houses all around the city. And it wouldn't. It wouldn't take much for me to bet all on him. On the Negro. If I got him locked in. And I know him got him locked in. And I could tell I got him locked in. I bet all. They liked it. They liked it. When I'm coming down. I know it's going to be some betting. So. One night. This girl slipped me. That play there, and everybody know her. She said she slipped me a phone number. So I ain't saying no no, put it in my pocket. So um she she had game already and still in her and had a square job working driving buses. So, I called. She was older than me. You know, I was young. She was older than me. So, she said, come over here. I want to tell you something. Oh, now, she finna, she finna get at me. I'm not finna get at her. She finna get at me, but she don't know I got game. This is what she said. I go over there. She said, young nigga, let me tell you something. Now, this is true. You see all of this? I mean, she living in a fine neighborhood, man. All of this is yours if you want it. So, I said, well, you want to give me all of this here? You know, I mean, what, what's up with that? She said, I cut for you. And I know your dad. And I know how hard he eat. Is. So I said, okay, cool. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. So everything started hitting off. Man, this girl started buying me robes, three piece suits, putting me in a vehicle. But you know what's wrong with that? I'm going to tell y'all what's wrong with that. A brother is a pimp. Oh, Lord. He got three Seville's. Them little short Seville's. Probably y'all ain't never seen before. I'm going to try to put one on my... I'm going to try to put a picture of one on my uh, thumbnail. Say that. And sometimes he come over there and see me sitting in that robe in that chair, man. Now I'm dealing with a hardcore pimp, Johnny Cool. And I want to get along with the man, but I got his sister. And I know I'm in a situation, so I see. How you doing, Johnny? Um, 
Nice meeting you. You know what that you know what that nigga said to me? Ah. Uh, that's like around. I don't know what's it. He, he said some crazy shit. So I said, Oh, this nigga don't like me. So I know not to fuck with him no more. But anyway, he take care of business and I know he didn't like the idea and I'm just like it I mean his sister just man. She just chucking that money at me and she know all of them hustles like Melvin, like Josh Dowling. And she taking me places, man, and, and, and man, I'm bucking them craps, man, because I know how to lock them dice and all of this here kind of stuff, man. But she hit them, she'll tell me, say, just wait in the car, I'll be back and going to get some money to play some poker. She'll go hit Melvin up or either she'll go hit Josh up. And they, they two thousand, better thousand every day of the week at all of them gambling houses. These niggas had money and rode in them Cadillacs. And that's all they did. And it, they was a team. And so she hit them like four thousand or whatever. Hey man, I need a thousand, this and that. They'd give it to her because that got a cool sister, this and that. And then I'd make something happen with my little piece of paper. But anyway, that lasted for a minute. And everything turned out all right, man. You know. And what I'm saying to y'all, I'm, and I'm no brag, just facts. Man, if you had finesse, and if you had game, show me that. It's like that boy on, on there, 